This is Tyler with Board Insiders uh, up here at the beautiful Timberline Lodge. We are riding some great new snow, which is incredible because uh, if, everybody, if anybody's from the Northwest, you know what kind of season we had. Most of us are under 20 days on snow because it just wasn't worth it. I just got done taking a few runs on the Rosignal District. This is a 155 centimeter board. And you can see with these stickers right here, it has a couple of camber zones. It's cambered in between this sticker and this sticker, just like a little 10 inch camber zone. And then the rest of the board is just reverse camber or early rise. So you can see it, the whole board bends like a big old smiley face. It's got these super fat tips and tail. Allows for a ton of flow. I would recommend this board to somebody who loves to ride powder. It just is the right shape. It bends up easy. Super fat tip and tail allows you to just, you're not gonna sink very easily. So even uh, a guy like me who wants to go ride the park most of the day and then it just so happens to snow in the middle of our park jam, bam, go hit the pow on this, you'll be just fine. Um, an awesome thing about this board is that it is their price point board. And for it being a price point board, I could not tell. Everything that I put in front of it, this board handled phenomenally and super comfortably. There's something that they dialed in with this board. It reminds me of the Rosinal Trick Stick where there's nothing insanely phenomenal about it, but it is so comfortable and so playful. It just is, it's comfort under feet. You get on it, you already know the board, you already trust it. There's not too much gimmicks to it, so there's nothing that can really go wrong. Um, this board kills it in the jibs. It's just so comfortable under your feet that you have no hangups. There's no edge catch, there's no nothing. It just does what you want it to do with authority. Um, booters, this, this board handled insanely well off booters because it's just so readable. Everything you did, it responded exactly how you wanted it to respond. So this board just killed it. So the flex on this board, I would say is a six out of 10, brand new. I would say once you got it broke in, it's gonna be more into like a four and a half, five on the flex. Definitely a soft board, but it doesn't lack on the pop, especially for being a reverse camber board. It's soft all the way through the middle, and when you get to the tip, it get, seems to get a little bit stiffer, and that allows for still a little bit of snapback and pop. Um, the Ollie pop on it, since it is so reverse cambered, you gotta load it up a little bit more, but once it releases, it's that pop you were looking for. So it is there, you just gotta preload a little bit sooner because of all that reverse camber. And then ride off pop, as soon as you go off the lip, it responds like it should, just the right amount of pop. And uh, I was really surprised with how reverse cambered it is. Even when I landed in the back seat, I was still able to bring it back down. So that's, they kept a little bit of stiffness in the tip and tail in that reverse camber. And I'm assuming that's why. So I would recommend this board to my little brother, any one of them. I got five little brothers. I'd recommend this to them because they can't go spend $600 on a board, but they are good enough that they should be riding on a board that is $600. So. Go out there, spend 300 bucks, and you'll be one of the happiest campers in the world. So, Tyler with Board Insider signing out. For the latest snowboard reviews, check out BoardInsiders.com.